Well, it is 5.30 in the morning, and uh, we had to go to Boston. Good morning. Good morning. Where are we going? The Grand Canyon. All right, so we're in the hotel room. Um, unfortunately, the conditions were not great earlier. The sun was super bright, and there was a lot of harsh lighting, and uh, it was very cold. It's still very cold. But we're gonna go back out and uh, we're just waiting for sunset now. So we're gonna go shoot some trams and some more shots of the city. Uh, but here are some shots that we did get earlier. All right guys, we're here in the hotel. We're doing stuff. Here's the best part about the hotel. The weird art wall. The weird art wall and the out of focusness of the camera. So over here is the inspiration. We got trams. So, all right, Dom doesn't know how to vlog. I'm gonna show you how to actually vlog. So we're gonna come over here, catch, catch it. So over here, yeah, right into the bathroom. More weird art, like, ready? Art. Who designs, like, hotel art? Who does that? Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, not a bad room. I got it. What's up? You got the fletchling. Fletchling. Oh, yeah. I got the fletchling. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Alright, so we found the one and only canes, raising canes in the Northeast. Got it, so Mark could try it. He's never had it before. And he dropped it on the ground. I did not drop he, it. The bag, like, look at this bag. The bag just ripped. We get to the hotel, the bag just splits open, and we lose a full tray. He dropped it. I know, look at the bag. <laughs> so now, so now we're gonna share this one meal, but it's still gonna be a great meal. I'm excited to try it still, but I'm bummed. Because that means this one meal costs $28. <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous. All right, so we are here. We've returned to the spot for some long exposures. And it's fucking cold. Just a little bit. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get these long exposures. I wish there was a little more lights on in the buildings, but it's still gonna look sick. So let's do it. Processing. Processing forever. What are we doing? So, we're here in Boston, taking some photos of the skyline over here. So Tom already told you it's pretty cold out, it's a little chilly. It's like a brisk 82 degrees here. But uh, here we're getting some long exposures, you know. We came back before, there was no parking. So we decided to pay for parking, unfortunately, to get these photos. So, you know suffering for art but hey so we're here trying to get some cool long exposure shots of the city you know it's very nice sky. It's, a, it's a pretty cool skyline so we take it mark suffering for art i'm suffering because you dropped my canes okay first off the bag ripped wake <laughs> up bored it's 8.30! Get up. It's early! This motherfucker snored all night so did you. like a monster. So did you. And then the second I wake up, he stops. You snored too. Yeah, but you're worse. You're worse. You're way worse. You don't know what you sound like. Dude, I couldn't fall asleep because of you. And you definitely didn't hear me snore if you were fucking snoring that loud. I don't want to hear it. You also need and of course, no adventure is complete without Cracker Barrel. So that was a fun little weekend in Boston. Here's some of my favorite shots. This first one here, I really love. It's just a basic tram shot, but the depth of field looks really great. So really love that shot. The next one I really enjoy is this nighttime shot of the tram also. This one was a little tricky. I had to get in front of it a couple times and you know make sure I didn't get hit by the tram or anything. So that was a fun one, and I really like the way it turned out with all the lights and everything. 
My final shot from this trip that I really enjoy is this long exposure shot of the city. I really love how all the lights look. I love the stars that you can see. I actually had to go in and fill up a little bit more of the stars, so some of those are fake, but I mean, it just fills in the sky a lot nicer. Um, but there were some real stars there. You'll see in Mark's uh, shot that I want to show you guys. There were some stars actually in the sky though. Uh, but yeah, those are my three favorites, and I'm going to show you some of Mark's as well. So here's some of the shots that Mark got on this trip. This first one I really love. He got kind of like a top-down view of this tram, and it just turned out really sick. Mark got a nighttime shot of a tram as well, and I really like the angle that he got on this one. Uh, it just looks super sick. And then this final shot that Mark got was a long exposure as well of the city, and as you can see, you know, there's a little bit less stars in the sky. But you can still see him, so you can kind of see where I added mine in and he didn't. Um, but all around great shot, love the shot that he got. And yeah, it was all around a fun trip. And uh, even though Mark dropped my canes, it was a great time. And I think we got some good shots. So let us know what you think. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and all that good stuff. And we'll see you guys in the next one.